we are asked to define a variable and write expressions for each person's savings plan. Person A starts with $505 and saves $80 per month. Person B starts with $730 and saves $55 per month. The unknown is the number of months, which is what we assign the variable to represent. Let's use the variable M to represent the number of months. And now we need to write expressions for each savings plan. Person A again starts with $505 and saves $80 per month, which means the total savings is $505 plus $80 times the number of months, which we are representing with the variable M, and therefore the expression for the first savings plan is 505 plus 80 times M or just plus 80 M. Person B starts with $730 and saves $55 per month, and therefore the expression for this savings plan is 730 plus 55M. Next, write the equation that represents after how many months these two people will have the same amount in their savings accounts. Well, they'll have the same amount when these two expressions are equal, and therefore the equation that represents this situation is 505 plus 80M equals 730 plus 55M. And now we need to solve this equation for M by isolating M on one side of the equation. We'll notice right now we have M terms on both sides of the equation, which means the first step is to add or subtract, which means the first step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Let's isolate the variable term on the left side. So looking at the right side, we need to undo this positive 55M or plus 55M by subtracting 55M on both sides of the equation. Remember, whatever operation we perform on one side of the equation, we must also perform on the other to create an equivalent equation. Now we simplify. On the left side we have 505, and then 80M minus 55M is 25M, so we have plus 25M equals on the right side, 55M minus 55M is zero, which is the reason why we subtracted 55M on both sides. The right side simplifies to 730. We still need to isolate the variable term, which is 25M, by adding or subtracting. We need to undo this positive 505 by subtracting 505 on both sides of the equation. We simplify again. 505 minus 505 is zero. The left side is now 25M equals on the right side, 730 minus 505 is 225. Now that we've isolated the variable term, we multiply or divide to solve the equation for M. And because 25M means 25 times M, to undo the multiplication and solve for M, we divide both sides by 25. And now we simplify. 25 divided by 25 is equal to one. One times M is M. On the right side, 225 divided by 25 is equal to nine. Because the solution to the equation is M equals nine, we now know after nine months, the two people will have the same amount in their savings account. Let's write that as a complete sentence. If we wanted to know the amount in the savings accounts, we can substitute nine into either expression and we should get the same amount. Even though it doesn't ask, let's go ahead and do that. Let's evaluate the first expression when m equals nine, which is 505 plus 80 times nine, which is 505 plus 720, which is equal to 1,225. And again, we should get the same amount if we substitute nine into the second expression as well, let's go ahead and verify this. We'd have 730 plus 55 times nine, which is equal to 730 plus 55 times nine is equal to 495. And the sum is 1,225. So now we know after nine months, both people will have $1,225 in their savings account. I hope you found this helpful.